All right, welcome back to Star Trek Artemis. Um, so last week's episode, um, you guys rescued all the civilians off of the hidden Maki base. You um, deactivated several of the mines that you could. Um, a few complications led to the half of the Cardassian fleet being destroyed in those mines. Um, but while all that was going on, you guys started heading back. Um, the captain ordered you last week to head start heading toward Deep Space Nine. Um, there's some sc stuff I'm going to skip, like you arriving there and whatnot. Um, the civilians are already starting to be offloaded onto Deep Space Nine. Um, and while you guys are there, um, you're probably going through some refits and some repairs. And the captain has given, given the crew um shore leave uh to enjoy on deep space nine beige or wherever you guys wanted to go um you know for at least i don't know maybe five days or so uh while the ship is being refit to include the brand new extensive shuttle bays and to be refitted with the runabouts um so um i do have something that could happen in the background but i'll let you guys have the opportunity to um, role play or whatever you guys wanted to do. Um, some of you did give me scenes that you wanted to run. We'll fit them in here and there whenever I wanted to. Um, but yeah, um, pretty much you guys have free run of the station. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys want to do, where you wanted to be, and I'll make it happen. I think Rick's would be uh, at Quark's on one of the upper levels, having a drink, sitting alone. He's just looking over the bar, specifically looking at the uh, the players around the uh, double table, just practicing his insight skills. Oddly enough, um, hmm? Deep Space, not oddly enough, but um, Deep Space Nine, um, when you arrived, appeared to be rather busy um there seems to be a lot of ships coming and going um a lot of people moving talking making deals um you did notice that there are probably a few romulans on the station at this point but uh most people here at quirk seem to be having a good time enjoying the drink enjoying the dabo table the entertainment coming and going from the hollow suites. Yeah, then he would just sit and observe people as they come and go and see what kind of quirks he can pick out from each and just mentally note it. Not to act on it, but simply for practice. And so you're just sitting there enjoying a drink then? observing mm -hmm. people watching all right what is everyone else doing i'll play some da dabo at quirks
All right, uh, so uh, Halt, um, Walden, um, you enter Quarks. Um, again, you, you see what um, Rix has saw. It's pretty busy. It's a really happening place right now. Um, when um, from at the bar, somebody walks up to greet you. Ah, uh, hey, you there. What'll it be? I'll have a Sumerian sunset and uh, a few rounds at the Dabo table, I think. I noticed there seems to be a lot more Starfleet personnel coming and going. It's busy times. I'm sure a man such as yourself is well acquainted of the events going on. DS9 is a busy place. Good for business, I imagine. Speaking of of business, I think I have uh, something that might interest you other than this drink that you ordered. It's a limited time deal, though. And you can only get this here on Deep Space Nine. Nowhere else can you get this. What I have here is a bottle of Trenya Reserve. Aged to perfection in the most authentic Gamma Quadrant cast. You will not find this on any other Federation world. Only a handful of bottles exist, mind you. And you could be the proud owner of one for the low, low price of 20 slips of Latin. 20 slips, eh? A, a bargain, I assure you. Well, I have collectors that'll pay two, two bars of Latinum for this. Can I, uh, like, uh, take a closer, take a, cl or, uh, I'll take out my, um, tricorder and be like, do you mind if I verify the contents? Oh, not at all. And he'll do a scan for, um, see what the purity of the alcohol is. I right, go and give me insight. Science or medicine, if one. Yep. Uh, what's your role here? Two successes. So you get one moment. And as far as you could tell that um, this is as it appears to be. Um, you're not seeing any imperfections or poisons or anything in it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, Carter, we'll look at the bottle and then you'll say, Well, I have heard that I've been put up for an award. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to celebrate.
Does, uh, do I have 20 slips of latinum? <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how money works in Star Trek. Well, I imagine Walden has a little latinum, so... He'll hand over and say, now let's see if I can uh, win my money back. I see you have very excellent taste, my friend. You enjoy that bottle. And the first round of Dabo is on me. Yeah, uh, Carter will head over to the table and start spinning the wheel, I guess. <laughs> And Rix, you probably noticed, and if not overheard, using your insight, the conversation. I think you'll pay, pay uh, special attention to Walden, see how he plays his game. If it's a fair game, or if he tries to do something funny. Now I wish we had um, had something to simulate <laughs> the uh, the double table. Yeah, the clinking sound. That or even a macro, you know. <laughs> Prax, get on it. Um, in the meantime, though, um, we could probably maybe do like an oppose task hmm Who would be rolling one? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, um, so I'll just set a difficulty here. Uh, so probably be a, you know, I probably got to make this a hidden difficulty, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, just because you're trying to guess at what um, the correct number would be. Um, so we'll probably, I'll probably let you use your reason or insight with whatever discipline or, at, or um, department you think would fit here. Well, for me, I'm observing. So security, I would go for inside security. Um, but for, uh, sorry, I was muted. <laughs> I was saying, uh, <laughs> would you take science for calculating like the odds? Um, yeah. All right. So insight science. Yeah. Insight or reason. <clears throat> um, take a threat. Roll the miss three successes. 
And so the, the Daba wheel spins um, and comes to a stop to figure out the determine who the you know the winners or losers are for. You didn't get the Dabo, but you did have a really good roll, and you did win a meager sum of winnings. You know, you, you know. Let, let's say you bet five slips or something, and maybe you got one. You know, so you got your five back plus one more. Well, my mother always told me to quit while I was ahead, but I haven't always listened to my mother. Let's try another roll. Okay. Uh, the bartender says, place your bets, place your bets. As he gets ready to start the Dava wheel. <laughs> so same roll as last time. Yep. Right, I will the same thread. <clears throat> And the Daba wheel spins, making its telltale sound, its beeping noises. The people are excited, cheering all around the table. Uh, and when it stops, you didn't get Dabo again, but this time you seem to have hit a larger earnings from last time. Um, maybe instead of gaining two slips, you gain three slips this time. Well, I think I've had my fill for a little bit, and he'll, Carter will go find a table so he can enjoy his drink. Uh, where would you like to go for that? Uh, yeah, I can't seem to move my token. <clears throat> Let's see. But I guess just any of the that. any of the tables uh, down at the uh, around the table around the uh, Dabo wheel. Yeah, I was trying to check to see if uh, maybe the permissions got messed up again. That's because the game's paused. Is it? Where? I just unpaused it. Oh, okay. Being on this white background, I don't notice anything. Uh, try it now, Walden. Perfect. All right, uh, we'll head off somewhere else. Um, in fact, I think we'll head to... Uh, the engineering bay. Um, so for this scene, um, if all of you wouldn't mind playing one of the supporting characters here. And then, uh, Kane, you can, of course, play yourself. And we'll start the scene off as...
as um Kane enters engineering. Everyone, how are things? No points to Gardner. Fine, uh, sir. Good. Sorry. No, you're very good. So, is everyone excited for a little bit of uh, rest and recovery time? Well, I'm not sure I can speak for everyone, but yeah. Sir, can we work just one more day? I really got these calibrations down almost. I just need a little bit more time to get them in place. Uh, who are you playing with? Dekagewe. The Bajoran on the right. Gotcha. Gewe. Uh, Gewe, the answer to that question is no, you cannot. Please, Commander, but, please! But I do have something that maybe you could do for me. You look around. Katala, this may be right up your alley. So early on, my first assignment just out of the academy, I got interested in, uh, well, something I would was hoping that you all might be interested in as well. Competitive virtual cat shows. Now, I know what you're thinking. Katala, I know exactly what you're thinking. Not that kind. What we do is we spend a few hours programming our cats and then show them off in a competition. Now, what we'll be looking for are everything from visually looking indistinguishable from a cat, behaviorally looking indistinguishable from a cat, anything that we can do to program these virtual cats in as lifelike a manner as we possibly can. And then we'll show them off. In the holodecks will be judged in a cat show competition and uh well let's just say the winner gets bragging rights best cat in show is not a a slouch of an award <laughs> am i right you look around so come on who's interested commander i've never had a cat i wouldn't even know what to do with one. Gary, yeah, you can look look it up in logs. Do a bit of research. But but and she just points to <laughs> to the console she was working at. Fine. Trust me, you'll enjoy it. And uh, this is an order. So consider it mandatory fun. Anyone else uh, have any concerns? Uh, yes. A hard pass. Is that Gardner? Yes. Uh, and why is that Gardner? I actually have a date on Deep Space Nine, so can't. Sorry. A date, you say? Yeah. Hmm. And uh, who might this date be, if you don't mind me asking? It's a date with a Dabo table. And my free time. I don't live for engineering, I just work here. Uh, Gardner, what is your current rank? Petty officer, second grade. Mm. And 
how long has it taken for you to achieve this rank? I'm sure you will tell me. I honestly don't know. I haven't read over your history. Uh, let me just put it this way. Would you like to achieve the next rank? Do I have to program cats, sir? I'll make your first bet on the Dabo table after you take home second. Fine. That's the Yay, spirit. cats. That is the spirit. Thank you, Gardner. Anyone else have any other objections? Alrighty. I will let you know the holodeck that we will all meet in. I will uh, also be recruiting some judges to judge the cat show. You have three hours from now. Uh, any time that you have after that is yours, of course. Uh, but for the next four hours, your time is mine. Good luck, everyone. You're going to need it. And he'll about face and walk out of engineering. Okay, so who's up for keel hauling the commander? Any takers? Any at all? Just want to finish my calibrations. She went get too hard. Is the gif you sent a, uh, like, what we're doing here? I guess I'll play dedication here. Uh, I vote for sabotage. Right. Find an incredibly disingenuous to show for the high catch show. <laughs> yeah, we finish your um, your calibration so I'll get stuck on your cat. Really, that would be swell. You can finish my calibrations. Go for it. And Gardner will leave. And just visit his quarters. Have a quick drink. Return. Alright, what is... Uh... Kier and Conan doing. It's either really fun or really boring. I'm guessing that we're feigning couples therapy on DS9. Just for shits and giggles.
I will say Kier is probably on DS9. Uh, anything in particular? I'm probably just walking around the promenade. Let me set something up really quick. So many folders. There we go. Um, so, Commander, you're uh, strolling around the prom. Um, when you pass near to Quark's bar, uh, you see these two individuals standing outside of it and apparently getting in a conference. Oh, no, really? You're still harassing me about that little misunderstanding with the cargo bay paperwork? I assured you, everything was in perfect order. Huh. Perfect order, you say? The only thing in perfect order around here is your ability to twist the rules to suit your needs, Quark. That shipment you received this morning, no declaration forms, no docking fees, and that's the third time this month. You're always so quick to assume the worst. It was a simple clerical error, a glitch in the system. I was just about to head over to the docking office and straighten it out. You know how unreliable Bajoran clerks can be. Enough, Quark. You're not blaming this glitch or Bajoran clerks. Every time there's a glitch, it somehow benefits you and costs the station. I'm getting tired of cleaning up after your little schemes. Schemes? Oh no, you wound me. This is all just a misunderstanding. And let me remind you, if it weren't for my business here on the promenade, this station would be as lively as a Klingon funeral. Is that so? Well, if, it, if we're being honest, Quark, if it weren't for your business... I'd have far fewer headaches to deal with. You'd be bored out of your mind, and you know it. Without me, you'd have nothing to do but stare at cargo manifests all day. Admit it, Odo. Deep down, you enjoy keeping an eye on me. Enjoy is not the word I'd use. Indoor, perhaps. And let me make something clear, Quark. If I find one more violation, even the tiniest one, you'll be spending the next month in a holding cell. Understood? Understood, Constable. You have my word. From now on, everything will be by the book. No more glitches. Unless, of course, the book's been misplaced. Heh. <laughs> I'll be watching you, Quark. As Otto begins to walk away, leaving Quark in a kind of scratching his head a little bit. Ooh, gotta fresh my throat after that. And as a uh, turtle turns to leave, um, Quark notices you walking by, and uh, he kind of waves you over. Um. Yes. <laughs> Did mean to intrude. I haven't seen your face around here before. Yeah, just I'm surely most likely be departing soon. Is 
that so? Yes, I'll certainly. Certainly, I have taking... something right this way that might interest you. Really? It, I guess you turned off the whatever those clerical errors were. Oh, that. You don't have to worry about that. But you see what I have to deal with around here? Honestly, I should start charging for all the entertainment I provide around here. Well, there's no place like show business. Or so I'm told. I think that's how you even say it. I wouldn't really know. Ugh, humans. What do they know? But I think I have something that has just what you're looking for. If you'll step this way, I'll show you. All right. And I guess she follows Quirk. This right here, and he shows you a, a bottle, is something called the Purity of Ternia Reserve. It is the name of a highly coveted rare vintage. This particular reserve is exclusive, almost mythical. It's highly coveted for its pristine quality and luxurious flavor. You interested? Uh, I'm normally not one to partake in such uh, exuberant activities, well, exorbitant activities. Um, I think I'll pass. But thank you for the offer. And here I thought you had excellent taste. Let me tell you, this is no ordinary trenya. It is handcrafted by the finest artisans on Aurelius II, aged for over 50 years in rare Bajoran Vedic oak barrels. Each drop is said to be pure than a Vulcan's logic. Then uh, you don't mind a taste test? I suppose it couldn't hurt to have a little taste. They say one sip of this reserve and you'll understand why it's reserved for only the highest of dignitaries. And Cork will pour just a little bit in a, in a glass. Is it the same bottle or different bottle? It's the same. She uh, swishes it around to pick up the glass and snatches it. Do you like high or low, Commander? Go high. Uh, 
Uh, you know, I think I'll pass on this. Your pass. I'm sorry, it, it smells um, like what thing you dung. Perhaps I got you all wrong, friend. Perhaps you do not like exquisite things that of the exquisite taste. Oh, I like to indulge every now and then, but uh, I don't think I'll indulge with this stuff, or whatever it is. We'll teach their own, I suppose. But perhaps there's something else that you would like, something else I could procure for you. Something more to your Refined taste. Um, what would that be? Well, you're the customer. As a customer, I like to know what you can offer. I'm sure I could find anything that might be more to your taste. Have you ever tried this thing called root beer? Um, I've been around um, enough humans to know what beer is. It's a very bubbly drink. Yes, but these federation, you federation types, seem they can't can't seem to get enough of it. I always keep the few bottles at hand for those with a more discriminating taste. Okay, I'll buy a bottle of beer. And he'll grab a bottle from under the bar. And it just so happens I'm running a special discount on this stuff. Only two strips. Two strips? That's a little pricey. Like I said, I know nothing about money <laughs> in this universe, so. What's the, isn't there some, is there something under strips? Slips. So I know there's bars. I know there's strips. There's slips. slips. Yeah. All right, two there's slips. Slips, strips. Two slips. Right. Two okay. Slips. All right. She pulls out two slips and hands it to him. And he'll slide the bottle over to you. Or just let me know if I can do any find anything else for you. And I 
you be the first I come to. And uh, she and, uh, takes Quark her just bottle gets a big of root smile. beer. She takes uh, her bottle of root beer and kind of just wanders the bar. And uh, you notice um, that the bar's pretty busy. Um, you notice Walden there. You notice Rick's upstairs. Heavy enough, she'll just kind of take in the scenery for a moment. All right, uh, any role play that you guys want to do while at Cork's bar before I head to the other place? To another place? Not at the moment. Actually, uh, well, she's at the bar. She goes, oh, excuse me, a fork, right? Yes, yes. What can I do for you? Come in. How much? You have hollow sweets here. Uh, we have the finest hollow sweets in all the sector. How much for some holiday type? Let me see if I could find how much it would cost. I was looking at a uh, memory alpha. It's 10 strips, how much the program would be, or is that how much it costs to use? I think that was to make a program. What do you think, a strip? I don't remember them ever saying out loud yeah. how much it was to rent a whole suite, so.
Let's see, an hour of holodeck time, probably be about 15 slips. 15? Huh. How about 10? Hmm, 10. Give me a presence command opposed. Uh, is he saying difficulty or me? Uh, he'll probably set it. I'm just seeing what fun things he gets. Uh, diff will be three. Take a threat. Persuasion for a focus? Yes. Uh, have five should be a... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna re-roll one. It's technically three. Okay. Cool. Uh, well... You know what? Just for you, Commander. We'll make it ten slips. <coughs> but you will tell all your friends about this place, correct? Of course. He <laughs> gives a smile and hands over the ten slips. Can he. Holiday programs involved horseback riding? Ah, uh, yes, of course. I have a few patrons that enjoy this form of entertainment. Sure, I could have the program up and ready for you. Hollow Suite 3. You are such a kind quirk. Hey, so head up into the house suite. All right, excellent. Uh, we're going to head to Commander Conan over here. Um, you said you're inspecting the runabouts? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Since we're uh, updating the. To uh, expand, extended, uh, or expanded hollow spring lock. Yeah, words. Sorry, uh, shuttle base. Uh, I'm uh, guessing we're picking up our um, runabouts here. Yes. Uh, inspecting anything in particular, or just give them a look over? No. They like um, like to look at the new th new stuff, especially if, if if it runs or drives. It's fun. It's uh, it's their favorite pastime, except for learning about how other cultures bury their dead or deal with their dead. Um, as you're inspecting the the um, runabouts, um, a kind of disheveled looking Tellarite enter. Um, don't worry about the name. That's not the name. I just didn't make a Tellarite token. Um, so this, this, it's just a really a placeholder token. Is it actually penned? <laughs> no, but... 
Uh, and when he, he turns one of the corners and notices you, oh, you, you there. You, you have to help me with something. Sure. What can I do for you? Seems that some of my cargo has gone missing. Right from my ship's hold. Would you like me to call security for you, or...? I've already done that. They said they're busy and won't come for another day. I need somebody to look into this now before whoever took it gets away with it. Well... Hmm. Sure. What do you want me to do? Want you to f investigate. Do what you do best. Find out who did this. Fine. Uh, Conan's gonna tap their comm badge. Conan to Rips. This is Rex, go ahead. Do you feel like you don't work enough? Especially currently? I always work. I'm always meet... on duty, if that's what you mean. Would you meet me in... Uh... Well, uh, excuse me, what's... Where are we currently? The numbers are a little strange. Yeah, just make up a number, cargo bay. Let's call it cargo bay six. Would you kindly meet me in cargo bay six on like in a couple of minutes? Very well. I'll be there. Very well. Uh, Conan out. There. I've done what I do best. That isn't driving ships and shuttles. So, tell me about uh, the cargo that's been getting lost. It's an incredibly valuable cargo. Absolutely harmless. And I'll tell you this, it is very important to the Federation. Can I check if he's lying? Um, well, we could go insight command. Opposed, probably. I'd like to remind uh, you that I am an empath. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Um, insight command, you say. Hold on, if you're an empath, um, that probably changes things. Um, you don't sense any... You could tell something is missing, but he might be a little vague on the specifics. I see. Important to the Federation, you say. And valuable, yet completely harmless. Good. I can work with that. Would you kindly give me some more details, or would you like to wait until my security friend comes? What more could you possibly need? It's a very important cargo shipment. And it needs to be found. Would you please hand me your manifest? All that support this ship. <clears throat> I have time. <clears throat> it's going to be a few moments until my... A uh, few minutes until my uh, friend arrives. You might want to go get the manifest so we know what we're looking for. Fine, fine. I'll do that job for you, too. I'll be back.
as he walks off the way way he can. Um, we'll head to Quirk's bar really quick. Um, Rick, so you just got off comms with um, with Conan. Um, the captain seems to be passing you, heading toward the Hollow Suites. Um, I'll let you take it from there. So um, he finishes his drink and uh, as the commander walks by, he just greetingly nods and uh, gets up from his commander, having fun. Yes, um, got an hour in a hollow suite. Aren't you supposed to be having fun as well, Lieutenant? I was, but Commander Conan required my assistance. He uh, interrupted my stakeout. Stakeout? You don't, yes, well, you know I think I don't want to know. Very well. Have fun and in your I've... uh suit. Thanks. Don't don't work too hard, Lieutenant. It sure leave is surely for a reason. I'll keep that in mind. And then he heads down and out of the bar. And you'll probably to... notice uh, Walden sitting mostly to himself at a table as you walk by. Is he being surrounded by Darbo girls for winning? <laughs> Some <clears throat> something like that. Yeah, he's just uh, enjoying his drink. Listening to the music. It's just going to leave him to his own pleasure. And uh, exit the bar to uh, rendezvous with Code. And you make your way down to uh, Cargo Basics. Commander, you asked for me? Yes. Um, I was approached by a... I'm not sure what the rank is, but a uh, merchant uh, complaining about lost shipments and uh, the fact that uh, local security wouldn't deal with it until... Well, tomorrow, and uh, he was quite insistent on getting help. I um, didn't feel like doing it on my own. You have a much sharper eye than I do, and um, well, you wear the yellow, and I wear the red. Are you sure we shouldn't leave this to the security? Contingent on the station. They might not be favorable to uh, us meddling. Uh, it seemed like fun. Well, I suppose I'll indulge your fun for now. What's uh, missing? Oh, he's bringing the manifest right now. Uh, I specifically asked for it. <clears throat> 
something harmless, expensive, and important to the Federation. <laughs> That's all I've gotten. And the fact that we're that trapped. Is probably and... meaningless and completely unvaluable. Yeah, like Latinum. Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we will. And uh, he comes back sometime later. Is this who's going to be helping with the investigation? Yes, this is Lieutenant Rix, the chief security officer over on uh, the USS Artemis. I forgot to mention that I am Lieutenant Commander uh, and on Conan, uh, the well, chief helmsman and flight officer of uh, the Artemis. And you are? I'm Captain Rivok. Nice to meet you, Captain. What seems to be the matter? As I stated to this person here, my cargo has been stolen. And what cargo was that? Several crates of precious cargo that has gone missing off of my ship. He stares at him silently, expecting more <laughs> of an answer. Can't divulge what is in the cargo. Did but all you... I can say is that it's important and valuable. Did you bring the manifest? Here. Thank you. He passes a pad your way. Um, Conan's going to take a, uh, a glance at it. Uh, see if it's been tampered with. Uh, give me insight, insight con, diff one. If one gain one, whoop, whoop. Um, the, the cargo manifest doesn't look to be tampered, it seems to be all squared away. The cargo is listed as important diplomatic cargo. And it's really not any more specific than that. I'm surprised anyone let you leave with a manifest that looks like this. Moreover, arrive. Then, Rix, you mind looking this over? Though I suppose you will get the same answer that I got. He takes the pad and looks it over. Yeah, you don't see any glaring inaccuracies other than what exactly the cargo is. It's not listed. Is it listed for him? Or is it... Yeah, yeah, to... yeah. Every, like, everything squared away. Okay. Uh, what, what was his name again? 
uh, Rybuck. It's in Mr. Discord if you, if you needed it. Mr. Rybuck, this manifest is clearly lacking. If you don't provide some more adequate information, we won't be able to help you. Since it's the diplomatic cargo, the specific context was explained to me. It's not required to be listed on there. This has been signed off by your Starfleet personnel at the last Starbase. Which was? I'd like those contact details, please. It's all in the manifest there. Can I see the contact detail on the on the pad? Yeah, it'll be some random uh, lieutenant. Uh, we'll call it Starbase Thirty or something. Commander, if you will excuse me, I'll uh, contact this con this person and validate the information. Absolutely fine. Go ahead. And he's just just gonna step off to a console so we can uh, make a communication. Captain, do you have any? Um, hmm, do you have an inkling on who might have taken your diplomatic cargo? Not the slightest idea who would do this. Fine. To whom were you delivering this cargo, if I may ask? Just got to check my notes really quick. This cargo is meant for a Bajoran diplomat. A Bajoran diplomat, then. All right. You haven't unloaded it and forgot about it? Or... Do you take me for a fool? Of course not. Not any fool can uh, can wear the title of a captain. Either who. A Bajoran diplomat requested these items. They have paid a good money for these items. Right. Has anyone else had access to these materials, same for, save for you? So the only person a... I know that to get on my ship is me. So no dock officers, no, no other people. Just not that I let aboard my ship. All right. So just cloaks and daggers. I see. I see. Do you know if this Bajoran diplomat has any public enemies? I don't know them too well, other than their Latinum's good. Do you have a way to contact this diplomat? Should all be in the manifest. I'll get to I'll get to contacting them when um, my colleague is done. Then I suppose. All right, uh, Rix, what were you doing? I'm contacting the Starfleet contact that's listed on the pad. From the previous star base, it was a. Uh... 
I just want to make sure it's not too far away that you wouldn't be able to get a voice to voice communication with them. After funsies, we'll let it go through. Um, it'll probably be audio only because you're just at a random panel. Mm -hmm. This is Lieutenant Ozark, Starbase 30. What can I do for you? Lieutenant Ozark, this is Lieutenant Riggs of the USS Artemis, currently on Deep Space Nine. We have encountered a Tellarite captain by the name of Rivok, who is uh, missing some transport, transporting goods. I'm hoping to uh, get confirmation on what it was he was carrying so that we might be able to find it for him. I'm uh, transferring the uh, manifest details to you now. says diplomatic cargo is that correct yes i was hoping you could uh, shed some light on the matter fortunately that's all the detail we can give diplomatic cargo is something that we can't exactly inspect <clears throat> so you wouldn't know if there was any particular Signature that we could detect to find it? Fortunately not. Very well. Can you give some uh, testimony to uh, the cred credency of uh, Rivok? All of his permits and licenses checked out. If that's what you're asking, he seems to be a legitimate trader. Very well. Thank you for your trouble. Rick's out. Uh, before going back, I'm just going to make a scan of the room, see if I can pick up anything. Uh, so, this isn't actually where his ship is, this is the cargo bay where the Artemis runabouts are. Okay. Uh, okay, can I do this instead? I'd like to... Uh, could I pull up the... Actually, no, I probably couldn't because I'm not security of the station. <clears throat> um, okay, no, I'll wait. I'll, I'll go back to, um, to Conan. Just say... Unfortunately, the... Uh, Starbase contact was not helpful. He knew just as much as this merchant here. Well, Captain, it seems we um, need to contact the diplomat. Would you like to, or should I? If I may ask first, how long was it when the cargo got missing? About 12 hours ago. Where were you when it was missing? I was enjoying a meal on the promenade. And the cargo was sealed on your, on your ship? Yes. Have you checked? If anyone accessed your ship while you were gone? I tried to. It appears whoever did this erased the sensor logs. So someone was on your ship. What I've been trying to tell you. Someone broke into my ship, stole my cargo. Uh, 
Um, uh, Rick turns to Conan. If you'll indulge me, Miss uh, Commander Conan, I think uh, we should uh, perhaps get the assistance of Commander Walden. Perhaps we can do a small forensic analysis. Of course. I think I'm going to report this into um, um, our investigation to uh, the the station uh, security office uh, in order to just let them know that we're handling the situation. Yes, I was going to request that as well. If, I'll, get, um, I'll, I'll get on that and you get the lieutenant. The if they're able, see if you can uh, access the uh, surveillance of the hold of I'll see what I can do. the capture ship. I'll see what I can do. Uh, that will be all, Lieutenant. Captain Rival. We'll, uh, we'll get to the bottom of this. Mr. Rybok, if you'd uh, please escort me to your ship. Finally, one of you Federation types actually does something. Or Starfleet types actually does something. It's this way. And then on the way, he's going to tap his comm badge. Lieutenant Riggs to Commander Walden. Just so you know, you're muted. <laughs> Commander Walden here, go ahead. I'm sorry to you ruin your um, double fun, but I'd like your assistance in a security matter, if you're available. Uh, security matter? Of course, I'll, I'll be right over. Meet us in, at docking port 5. Walden out, and he'll head over there. And Rick will keep following the top right. All right, I'm going to jump back to the Artemis really quick. Um, and actually, I'll probably theater the mind this because it is happening on the holodeck, correct? Uh, correct. Please tell me you have cat tokens. Oh, I do not. Womp womp. <laughs> Wish I did. Just find gifts of cats and put them in the Discord. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, Mr. Kane, I'll let you take it away. Alrighty. All right. Uh, Kane will walk into the holodeck and just say, 58, 59, three hours. Everybody ready? As ready as we'll ever be, I suppose. Sir, do we really need to do this? I still need to calibrate. Uh, the answer to that question is yes, we absolutely do need to do this. Uh. All right. And I was able to track down an extremely special <clears throat> guest judge for this event. Somebody who's an expert 
in feline studies. Everybody, please put your hands together for Dr. Deacon Foster, and he'll start clapping as Fa Foster walks into the holodeck. Who made the doctor? It's one of our one of our uh, supervising characters. Uh, whoever made it could uh, play the doctor. Would that be Kier? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, there I, you go. I, yeah, I, I made the doctor. Um, Commander King, uh, what what is this about, Doctor Foster? Thank you for agreeing to serve as our expert feline evaluation judge. Oh, by the way, Dr. Foster, uh, this was the medical emergency that I communicated to you about. Uh, Lieutenant uh, Tala, are, is there, are you experiencing any issues? She just kind of looks to gain confused. Well, I think everyone here is experiencing excitement and trepidation for the upcoming competition. Uh, Kane will hold out his hand, and with that, uh, his cat will materialize into his hand. He'll just say, I... Uh, I've been doing this for years, uh, you know. Hope everyone is uh, is ready. And well, that's uh, three hours was enough. And he'll hold his cat and just gently pet it. Who boy. Gardner, let's uh, let's see yours. Yes, sir. There you go. All right, not bad. And Lieutenant May, may we please see yours? I don't know if anyone was playing May. Uh, so you're playing Gowie and then yeah. Vitala. I think it falls the wall then for May. Yep.
Walden, you there? Yes, sir. Uh, I think you're playing May in the uh, cat challenge. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I was playing a sporting character. What's the rule? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, no. Um, you're, you're just role-playing making a cat, and I think people are just putting gifts up on the Discord. We're, uh, we're setting the competition up. Yeah. Roger. You know, just a fun role-play. Indulge the commander, so to speak. Yeah. I guess you'll go up to the computer. Computer. Establish a holographic physical appearance of a cat. Age, approximately 8 years old. Weight, 10 pounds. Domestic, long hair. Color pattern, randomize. Alrighty, let's uh, let's see that cat guess. <laughs> Not bad for three hours of work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, let's go around the room. Uh, actually, would it it would be Decca, right? Mm -hmm. Bajorans, yeah. Ensign Decca. Okay. Just gonna look at Paolo real quick, and then just look back and summon it. Do you want me to choose a gift for you? No, oh, I have, I have one. I have one. Go, go for it. Not a gift, but it speaks. Volumes. <laughs> Arlo, you were going to fix me a good cat. You were going to finish calibrating. I had to get my own cat done. Oh. Profits. I think it's cute. And, uh, I think I think my granddad used a word once to describe this sort of cat. I think he said scrungly. We put, we put him in a home after that, but you know. I'm, I'm sorry, Commander. I'm sorry. This is... I, ju I just wanted to finish my calibrations. Well, Ensign, if your calibrations are anything like uh, scrungly, there. Uh, we may be having Arlo check your work after that. And Katala, may we please see yours? Holy shit. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like we have a contender, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Dr. Foster. We will have three rounds, typically, at least that's, well, past few competitions that I've won have been three rounds. Uh, first round is uh, judging by the aesthetics of these program cats. Uh, everything from, well, uh, the shape of the cats to uh, how detailed the fur is and well, how lifelike it looks. Uh, Dr. Foster, have you have you had a cat before? Uh, 
Uh, Dr. Foster, I know you are absolutely speechless for all the... Uh, uh, look, look. All right. Um, you just placed the uh, Deca. Uh, Deca wins. Now, look, Commander, next time you choose to call for a medical emergency, uh, do so very cautiously in the future. And he just leaves the holiday. All right. Well, hmm. Guess I should have asked if uh, Dr. Foster was, well, if he had a phobia of felines. I believe that's called felinophobia. Well, and the doctor's not here to dispute that, so it's now known as felinophobia. All right. Uh, Deca, I'm so sorry. Since the judge left, his ruling is uh, considered invalid. You do not win the first round. All right, team. We'll have voting. Everyone who enters cat in the competition can vote uh, secretly, I'm assuming, uh, with the wall panels that will now materialize behind all of us. First round. Aesthetics of the program cat, as I mentioned to Dr. Foster, uh, look, detail, really the physics, anything related to it, does it look like a real cat? Second round, movement, can be anything that you want, walking, running, climbing, anything else. Does it move like a real cat? And third, behavior, when stimulated, does this cat react the way that an actual feline would? Does it get scared? Does it get thirsty? Does it get angry? What have you? Again, trying to make your cat look as close to a real cat as possible. All right. He'll uh, set his cat down and kind of let it run into the middle of the circle. Let's take a look at how every cat looks really look at the detail everyone the reflection in the eyes the ears the whiskers just really really take it all in observe your cat observe everyone else's cat when you've made a determination feel free to turn and select the name of the person who entered the cat on the panel behind you GM, I don't know how to do a secret ballot for this. Send it to me, and then the computer will say what will tell you up the votes. Perfect. Two votes are in. Three votes are in. Are we DMing you votes? Yeah. I am the computer, after all. And the computer will chime, all votes have been tallied.
Anne's computer. The winner, Lieutenant Junior Grade Catalia. Hmm. That is a good cat, Catala. Hmm. Have you participated in virtual cat shows before? Yeah, she just rolls her eyes. Many, sir. Hmm. I may have underestimated you. Hmm. All right. Well, first and likely only round goes to Katala. Good entry. All right. As I stated, next round. How your cat moves. Does it step the way a cat does? Does its tail flits back and forth correctly. Let's, uh, well, and he'll set his cat down. I guess he already set it down, but he'll usher it and get it to run. Uh, he'll send it off to run to uh, Gardner. All right, as the next round takes place, we'll head back to Deep Space. Nine. Um, Conan, you were going to the security office? Yes, and a chance to talk to Odo. All right, we'll put you right outside the security office. I'll chime the door. Yes, what is it? Constable Odo. My name is uh, Enon Conan. I'm uh, I'm a commander on uh, on the USS Artemis. Yes, yes. What can I do you do for you, commander? I've recently been approached by a uh, merchant, uh, Captain Rivok, who um, reported some of his um, cargo stolen. Yes, yes, I've already received Captain Rivok's report. It's on the pile. We'll get to it when we can. Oh, I just wanted to say that uh, shore leave does not sit, sit well with me, and I have um, taken it upon myself and some of my uh, crewmates to uh, well, uh, kickstart the investigation for lack of better things to do. I just came here to report that. And do you think that you can solve his problem? Well, it's easier to solve a solve a mystery when it's fresh rather than when it's cold. Though twelve hours is quite cold, especially when hunting for cargo. Very well. I think I can allow you to take this off my hands for me. But I'll be watching you very closely. Looks like you have uh, your hands full either way. I'll report to you when, uh, when there's an update. <laughs> He'll just kind of chuckle as he gets back to work.
All right. Um, Conan will uh, hmm, attempt to um, contact the Bajoran uh, diplomat in this case. Uh, are they on station or are they on Bajor or somewhere they're else? They're on Bajor. Yeah, they're on Bajor. Fair enough. Then uh, a communication center or a wall panel or something. Uh, if I may. Yeah, I'm sure you could find one. I mean, going back to the ship is always an option to use your comms there. So. The ship um, might be a better way, uh, especially since we have well, better gear, I suppose, and it's not in Cardassian. Right, right. Um, so yeah, as you're heading back up to the ship, I'll head to the other ship. Um, I think, Walden, you're just entering... I believe you were meeting Rix at yeah uh, at the docking port. Yeah, uh, we'll just say this is it. <clears throat> I thought you were supposed to be on shore leave, Rix. Well, I was, and so then Commander <clears throat> Conan involved me in. This bit of affair. And I need some assistance. So I decided to involve you too. Hope you don't mind. Well, let's see what it is. I'd, I'd rather get this over with as quickly as possible. Well, Mr. Walden, <clears throat> this is Captain Rybok. He is here delivering a diplomatic cargo, although he doesn't know what it is, and he doesn't know who took it. And we're going to attempt to help him. Not very much information to go off, then. No, not at all. However, I was help hoping you could um, help run a scan of whether Cargo was last positioned. See if it's been moved manually, if perhaps there are traces of a transporting signature or something or other that could give us a clue. Uh, Mr. Ryback, could look. you uh, please show us where um, your cargo was stationed? Yes, yes. It's just this way. And they'll lead you onto his ship. Um, since I don't have a scene for this, um, the ship is like a typical Tellerite merchant vessel design. It's rather small, maybe a single cargo hold. You know, that's maybe about the size of one of yours. It, it is a smaller single person ship. Um, and he leads you to the cargo bay. This is where I kept the cargo. If you'd like to do a quick scan, Mr. Bolden, I'll uh, check on uh, check on the security door, see if I can see how they managed to get in, if they got in this way. Very well, and uh, I'll scan for any transporter signatures. All right, so um, both of the so I'll bo both give you a task. Um, it's just going to be an insight. Um, Rick, so be your insight or reason with your security. Um, Walden will be insight or reason science. Uh, both diff ones. Uh, I don't have my focus. I take. It. Threat. Well, maybe I would Whoa. my infiltration focus apply because I'm trying to ascertain how they got access and I've had experiences getting access to closed doors before. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Um, well, then you gain two momentum out of that. Okay. 
one at least. All right. Um, uh, Rix, we'll start with you. Um, as you start to investigate the ships, um, you notice that um, the cargo bay and the docking, the um, the lock door to get onto the ship, they both show signs of being tampered with. Um, you know, basically, they're the locks were picked. Uh -huh. um, as you start to go through the the rest of it, you also notice that the ship's internal internal sensors were offline during this time. And uh, Walden, what were you looking for? Uh, transporter signatures. All right. Um, so, Walden, as you start going about the the cargo bay, you don't see any transporter signatures, but what you do notice um, with your science and engineering expertise as they are, this cargo bay seems to have its own independent um, oh, it's life support system. Um, you estimate that this life support system is strong enough and powerful enough to create an independent artificial environment within the cargo bay. You also notice as you're walking around, there seems to be a broken crate um, in one of the corners of the room. I will take a look at the broken crate. Um, let's see. Um, you notice that the crate seems to be, um, something that might be used to house animals. And you see an unfamiliar emblem on this crate, on the broken crate. Can I d scan it for a genetic signature of the animal? Uh, this like one will... hair or something? Yeah, um, we'll make this a... Reason or insight, science or medicine, diff three. Did you take biology for your focus? I will. Take it oh, then, Rix, if you have any questions, let me know, too. Um, what was that, Walden? Perfect. Oh, I just bought an extra dice of threat. All right, let me give you that information. And then, Rix, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm getting this yeah, I'd like to um, see if I can find out what kind of equipment was used to uh, unlock the door. Um, it would probably be something you recognize, um, you know, like I'm sure there's, um, like devices that could be used to hack doors and, you know, bypass door security systems, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like a cipher type thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can I reason more specifically which type of hacking mechanism or what's the... I can give you a role for that. Yeah, I'll do it. Um, prior reason or insight, security, 
or engineering, I'll make this a difficulty three. Do we have two momentum or how much momentum do we actually have? Um, I'm not sure. I think you had four. I think you had two before this, and then Walden gained. Okay, but because we've been switching scenes like crazy, so. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't. I haven't subtracted. We'll just call it four. Okay. Um, I'll give you a threat for bold, at least. No, you can take two threat, and I'll do one momentum, so I can have two dice. <clears throat> Infiltration still applies as a focus. Uh, yeah. Cool. I'll reroll that twenty. Come on, into a complication. Yes. <coughs> I'll send this to you. I have no idea if I spelled that correct, but I think you could get the gist of it. Yep. No matter what, then what have you found? <clears throat> it would seem our captain here has some uh, interesting cargo. The cargo hold is fitted out for a with an independent life support system, uh, separate of the rest of the of the vessel, and. Uh, I detect here DNA traces of a Rybian flutter beast, uh, a rather expensive exotic pet, but very fragile. They must be kept in a highly regulated environment. Well, that's good. That that could help us track it down. I managed to. Um... Figure out how they got in. <clears throat> they used a uh, Nosican device, Nosican hack bike to um, get entrance. I'm, I would bet on that someone hired some thugs to uh, get these, this animal. Well, where do you want to look next? We should uh, reconvene with uh, Commander Conan. See what he's found out, and can make out plan. Make out a plan from there. And since you mentioned Commander Conan, I'll let you use the bridge communications device. Can I sit in the big chair? I don't see a problem with it. I'm not gonna. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's find this Bajoran diplomat. All right, again, do not worry about the name or the picture. Um, I'm recycling tokens because I don't have any.
This is Diplomat Mira. What can I do for you? Or she'll probably say Minister Mira. Hello. Uh, this is um, Lieutenant Commander Enon Conan on the USS Artemis. I've been assigned to a um, an investigation concerning some of your um, um, belongings, I suppose. Uh, do you know of a Captain Rivok, Minister? Yes, I am expecting a shipment from him any time now. Unfortunately, the shipment will be delayed due to the fact that the captain has uh, unfortunately misplaced your things uh, and they are in the hands of other people that he does not know who they are, or at least he claims to. That is short, most they have been stolen. Probably. That's most unfortunate. I was expecting this shipment yesterday. And uh, he recently arrived on DS9, uh, but unfortunately, he will not be able to uh, deliver on time. Uh, but don't worry, we've um, been tasked to solve the mystery. Uh, could you give me some insights into why someone would like to acquire your uh, expected goods? Or whom, if anyone? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? Minister, do you have any political opponents or enemies even who would like to steal from you? Or is there a reason why these... In the manifest, it only says diplomatic um, I think materials or diplomatic goods. Um, is there a reason why they would be stolen except for the fact that they are expensive? Well, being a minister on Bajor is not without its own share of problems and, of course, enemies, those that would want my position. But I have no reason to think of why they would steal cargo. There's something we haven't been able to figure out uh, due to the manifest being the way it is, and uh, our colleagues on uh, Starbase 30 uh, being uh, unhelpful, as well as uh, the captain being vague, out of this world. What are we looking for? Um, give me presence command opposed. Uh, she'll set the difficulty. Um, difficulty three. Would you take a culture expert as a hobby, uh, as a focus? You know what I will. Let's see here. I'm not sure if I can't buy dice, I think. So it's just two. Um, just the two successes? It looks like it. 
Uh, roll stand. What? Uh, the difficulty was three. All right. Um, I'm not sure if I remember how to play this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know, you could, you could buy dice. Yeah. Uh, cursory looks over. My talents didn't help. Uh, would you let me buy a die after the after the fact? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let you buy one. There we go. Um, so what was the question you asked her, just so I, that's fresh in my head? What are we looking for? Okay. Or rather, what was the cargo? I am somewhat of a, a collector of rare and exotic animals. Animals? Yes, animals. Please, enlighten me. The animal I am looking for is one that is very rare indeed and would be prized among many. It would really help cement my status in the collecting world. I Minister. paid very good money for the shipment. I understand that. Minister, I need you to be very, very clear with me about what I am looking for. Otherwise, you will not get your shipment. So I reiterate what animal am I looking for? Um, this one's going to be a difficulty for presence command. Yes. For my talents and focuses to see if there's anything that I could add to it. I do have a value. Uh, mission comes first, but I'll save that for if everything goes to shit. Um, you could always give him threat to get more dice. Isn't that only if I have bold? Uh, so. You can do it anyway. So, right. so you you don't need bold to give me threat. It, it's just like you can use threat or momentum to give me dice. Bold just gives you a reroll. Then I'd like threat. to buy two dice. Then. All right. So uh, you could either. So your options are. So you could use either threat or momentum. The cost to buy two extra dice is three, and it it could be three threat. It could be two momentum and a threat. It could be one threat, two momentum. Whoever you wanted to buy it. Uh, two momentum and a threat. And uh, switching to survival rather than culture expert in case she tells me what animal it is. Uh, no, this is probably going to be like persuasion or something. Then uh, call to action. Uh, I don't think so. Then no focus. Do 
I have to use some value if I want to reroll those? Yes. In the cockpit, I am free. I'd probably let you reroll with um, the mission comes first because you you gave yourself this mission to get to the bottom of this. So I'll let you reroll with that. Yes. Uh, so you can reroll the sixteen and the fifteen. Fucking damn it. So you did succeed, but you did get a complication. Well, I'm obviously making an enemy, but who knows? It's a diplomatic emergency. Do you want your animal or not? Minister. It's something it's something called Gotta check my notes. The Rybian Flutter Beast. But that is all I could tell you. A Rybian Flutter Beast. Alright. So... Fine. I'll get to it. Alright, and then uh, Rix and Walden, you said you were going to find Conan? Yep. Okay, I'm actually going to bring you yes. to the promenade because there is one thing... We'll do here. Let me find your characters. Uh, so, uh, Rix and... That's the wrong person. Rix and Walden. Um, you, you guys are walking along the promenade, looking to, you know, heading toward near uh, Conan. When um, you notice that there is a a type of concert happening on the promenade and you hear a song start to play I drifted off last night through cosmic streams a nebulous haze from the stars above Blue light glows as it traces your form. When you hold me, galaxies. And Walden, you notice Rick's almost stop in his tracks upon hearing the song. Where's that coming from? I drifted up to next us respond. It's just there. Echoes of time through the space. Ricks and he'll turn and look at him. Darkness suffers when you whisper speaking. I'm moving. When you hold me, galaxies seems fixed on where the music is coming from. Where is the music coming from? <laughs> uh, there's a like a band, like a three-piece band playing and singing their song, performing it, like on the promenade. Okay, yeah. He'll just kind of wave his hand <laughs> in front of Rick's. 
Stop moving. Yeah, what's going on, man? <laughs> Ever seen a band before? Rick doesn't respond, but he starts to move, and he starts to move. Because we're on the upper level, I'm guessing. So he's yeah. moving towards a lift to get down to the lower level and closer to where the music is coming from. Walden will tap his com badge. Say, Walden to uh, Conan. Conan here. Uh, Rix is, uh, beha behaving rather strangely. If you can meet me on the promenade as soon as possible. On my way. I'd like to get the, to the bottom of this situation, finally. Yeah, uh... And he'll just follow, um, Rix. All right. On my way. Uh, Speed of Plot will throw all of you in the lower prominence. Um, the band just finished playing um, the song and, um, you know, I've announced to the crowd that gathered that they're going to take a, you know, a quick 15 minute break or so. So Rick's is just going to walk up to them straight away and just. Could you play it again? Please. Seems to play the same song twice. But for an adoring fan, I'm sure we could. Uh... <clears throat> oh. And the band will start playing it again. I drifted off last night. Rick's dance firm as transfixed as before. Listening. A nebulous haze from the stars above. Walden, what's going on? <clears throat> I don't know. He seems fixated on this song. Lieutenant, I'd like to get back to my shore leave at some point. Sure you do. In the meantime, you're relieved, but keep an eye out for a Rybian flutter beast. That's what we're looking for. Yes, I, I have no leads. Rick's here. I was taking charge of the investigation. Well, now you have what I know, and uh, if you find anything, then just let me know. I'll take care of Rick's from from here. When your whispers begin. Oh, if you say so. I'll be in Quarks. <laughs> Fine. When you breathe in. So Walden goes into Quarks? Yeah. He's tired of the case of the missing space cat or whatever. Bricks. What's going on? He doesn't seem to hear you. Buddy. It's What's looking, up? it seems he's looking at the musicians, <clears throat> but you're not sure he's actually looking at them. Looks more like he's somewhere else. As an empath. Do I get any weird vibes? Yes, you get very strong emotions. Emotions of you sadness. Get, <clears throat> you get mixed emotions of 
extreme pain. But at the same time, there's a reassurance when he listens to the song. Oh, buddy. Um, Conan's going to walk up to Rips and put their arm around him. It's going to be okay. And in a flash of moment, he grips you instinctively. And does uh, not a chokehold, but it basically puts his your arm behind your back and restrains you. If you'll allow that. Uh, if you want to fight against it, that's up to you. You're a security officer, so no, I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to talk mm. about it. Oh, babe. Oh, ho oh, oh, buddy. Did not mean to touch you without your consent. I think that same realization, he just let you go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Commander. That was. You don't have to apologize to me. I, I overstepped. I reacted to your emotions. What's going on? He watches the band again. Have they stopped playing at this point? Like, yeah, yeah. Play? Yep. He's going to walk up to them again. Excuse me. What what song was that? Not too sure of the name of where we originally got it, but we heard it many many years ago and thought it was a beautiful song so we made a composition of it and decided that we'd play it you, you don't know the name of it unfortunately no last night so after eating could i uh, could i ask you to make a recording of it I'm sure we can give you a copy, yes. My my name's Rix. You, you can find me on uh, the Artemis. It will still be here for the next day or so. Please look me up. And the musicians nod and they are going to head on their break finally. Just gonna stand for a moment and just recompose himself. And looks back to um, Commander Conan. Um, with, with your empathic abilities, are you only able to pick up emotions? Yes. Okay. So as he composes himself, you. Uh, you sense a feeling of <clears throat> it's it's a feeling of extreme curiosity it's a feeling of wanting to find someone Something that had to do with the song. But then he recomposes himself and gets back to his, he puts up his mental barriers because he doesn't usually let anyone in. That song reminds you of someone. It's easy to tell. Do you want to talk about it? I'll buy you the first round. I'm sorry, Commander. We were making an investigation. Fuck the, mate. Fuck the investigation. Odo can take it. I'll make a quick report and 
I'll meet you at Quarks, okay? No, sir, we we need to finish this. We don't, really, it's... Sir, mm -hmm. I insist. I must recompense for my lapse, please. And as I said, you do not have to apologize. You obviously need the shore leave. So do I. I didn't know that before. Now I do. Sir, I have information that can help us find the missing animal. Well then, you can give it to me in a report. I will hand the rest over. Is that an order, sir? It is. Return to your shore leave. It's very... What's the emotion? He just uh, curls his lips a bit, tenses it, and <clears throat> just say, um, yes, sir, I'll have that report to you in a few moments. May I be dismissed, sir? Yes. Yes, you may. He starts moving. Very resolute, not letting down, not letting anyone in, not. Not showing any more emotion. And he's oh, going to head back to um, to the Artemis. <clears throat> that was very nice. Thank you. Um, any other scenes anyone would like to play out? <clears throat> No, but uh, I'll just want to make it uh, make a point of that Bajoran and um, the Bajoran minister and uh, Conan now has beef uh, because Conan leaves off the investigation to uh, Odo. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, Kier, anything you want to do? All right, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll head back to Back to um, the holodeck. And uh, Kane, despite how many trials and tribulations you do, every single vote comes up with uh, Katalia winning. Uh, it's gotten to the point that you've done so many that they're sick of this. <laughs> you know, you know, like like uh, they're tired of of the of um, you coming up with every different test imaginable for these cats. Sure, sure. And uh, you've run out of ideas, too. All right, everybody. Bring it in. We'll step forward. Sir, do we have to continue this? 
In a moment, Daka. I control all the tokens for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Bring them uh, you, pro you probably dragged and clicked them all. You just got to click off. Nope. I just control like... all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> bring them all in. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll just try boxing them. off of them. Like sometimes that works. All right, everyone. This is supposed to be less buggy than Roll20. <laughs> it's not without, a, uh, without its flaws. <laughs> All right, everyone. That was a, uh, a good practice run. Now, wanted to make sure that everybody got a practice tournament. He'll look at Katala under their belts. Uh, just to you know, kind of grease the wheels for the next time we have a cat show competition. But I would be remiss if I didn't award, and he'll hold out his hand and materialize uh, a crown, and then a smaller crown in his other hand. If I didn't award best in competition, and he'll place one crown on top of Catala's head, the other crown on top of her, her feline entrance head. Best in competition. May I present to you Katala and her entrance. He'll ask, Katala, what was your, what was your cat's name? Wiggles. Mm. The illustrious Wiggles. Best in our practice competition. And he'll begin applauding. He will be the only one applauding. <laughs> All right. Good team building exercise, everyone. I. Really enjoyed the spirit, and uh, well, I know that you've caught the bug. Everyone's caught the bug here, so make sure to practice before the next competition. Imagine that we really have to do this again. <laughs> Computer load keel hauling program. <laughs> yeah. My new favorite word. Deca, your enthusiasm for work is noted. And yes, we have to do it again. All right, everyone, get to shore leave. Uh, make sure to rest up and repair. I'll see you at engineering bright and early. Dismissed. The profit I can finally get back to my calibrations. Oh, no, you don't. We're keel hauling this guy. Come on. No. No, I need to go. Shore leave means shore leave, and to get to the shore, you need to go by the heel. Come on. Prophets, forgive me. Prophets, save me. All right, I think we'll head to Quark's Bar. I'll let you guys do any free role play with all of you sitting around. Maybe enjoying one final drink. And, uh, yeah, uh, Kane will just begin finishing his, uh, or be finishing his story. Yeah, and, well, I mean, the crew decided to award it to Katala for obvious reasons. And, I mean, you know, she's a beginner, right? We want to make sure that everybody feels involved. And, you know, well, not everybody quite has the experience like I do. And so, yeah, you know, 
for a practice competition, they, they put up a good show. But, uh, well, you know. So if any of you are interested, he'll take a, a swig of his drink. Uh, would, would love to have you at our next competition. You put your... Okay. You put Cathalia through a virtual cat designing competition. What were you thinking? What was the thought process here? I really want to know. Uh, correct, I did. And very little thought was put into it. No. Next to... question. All right, Conan, look, if you're curious, then swing on by next time. We'd love to have you participate. Commander, may I be, exp be excused? Then this is surely. You are not forced to be here. Thanks. Well, Walden, after several rinks, drinks downrange, will raise his glass and say, Cheers, everyone, to the Artemis. I don't know what all these people are doing trying to create work for themselves, but I've been having a great shore leave. And he'll send another one down the hatch. Kane will follow. She raises her glass. Well, that being said, I, uh, I could use a good nap, I think. And, uh, he'll sort of stumble out of his, his bar stool and, and, uh, say, uh, it's been, it's been good to see you all. I must now retire to my quarters. Don't get lost now, Commander. Ah, couldn't get lost here. It's just a big ring. And then he'll confidently stroll out as a drunk guy pretending to be sober. <laughs> and we'll watch him go. And just say under his breath. Yeah, because no one's gotten lost walking in circles. Right, Commander? There. So you step into the wrong corridor. How about we refrain from doing cat shows in the future? Were you scratched in the past, uh, Commander? I don't understand. Maybe enlist willing participants in the future instead of for a senior department to do that. Oh, uh, I can assure you, Commander. Uh, they were okay with it by the end of it. They seemed to get into it. But, but noted, I'll 
keep my interests personal. You know, there is probably a zoo or some sort of exhibit down on Bejur. Is that an invitation, Commander? Sure. But we can go down to Bejur and visit some of the zoos down there. I would appreciate that, Commander. Thank you. And as Quarkspar quiets down and everyone starts to head back to continue or rest, Odo enters the bar, arms crossed, standing tall, and in a single word in his gruff voice, Quark! And I think with that, we'll call that the end of a day off.